Hi there, Danish Rona. Welcome back to my channel, Danish Matters. I'm Tina Baka, your Danish friend and tutor. Today, we're talking about the word for the weather in Danish. Veal. Yeah. What kind of word is that? That's what we're going to go into. Before we get started, I would like to remind you that if you would like a Danish course with me, then write to tina at danishmatters.dk. Now, first off, the weather in Denmark is something that we talk about a lot. Um, that's sort of our small talk topic. <laughs> yeah, we always talk about the weather. So if you don't know what to talk about with us, talk about the weather. That's perfectly normal. I once asked uh, someone from South Africa what they were talking about as a small talk, talk topic, and um, she answered, crime. Yeah, so I'd much rather talk about the weather, I think. Um... So we're pretty concerned about what the weather is going to be like because we have all been experiencing not having dressed accordingly and that has um, resulted in us being wet or too hot or <laughs> just not dressed for the occasion or yeah. So the weather is important um, and when we talk about it, uh, that's when we pronounce this word, it's what is difficult to foreigners. How to pronounce they all. Yeah, I'll get back to that. Looking at the different parts of the word will help, yeah? It says V-E-J and R-E-T. Now, they all in itself means the right to be a certain street or or road, Weirat. That's how it's spelled. So street right or road right. That's if you, we pronounce it like it's written, Weirat. Yeah. This goes perfectly with the fact that Wei means road or street, and that Rat means that you have the right to something, yeah? Um, right means a lot of different things, though. Also, for example, you are right. Du hast A court, the one with the judge. And quite. It was quite fun. Die war Yeah? The word weal is also present perfect of et weira which means to send or to sense something, like what a dog does when it's sniffing around and what a person might do when getting the feeling that something is going to happen, sort of more like intuitively, yeah? However, all those meanings of the word aren't really going to help you pronounce this word when it means the weather. When it means something else than this, you can just pronounce it close to its spelling because then is that we pronounce the J, that is the Danish J, the Y sound. Yeah, we do pronounce that when it doesn't mean the weather. Um, and when it does mean the weather, you pronounce it like this in there, the indefinite form, there. Almost like to be, like in the imperative, yeah? There. V-E-J-R. It becomes more difficult when we add the ending because it is actually it there, a weather. And as you know, we put the article at the back of a noun and it becomes then they all or they at. Yeah, depending on where you are in Denmark. Yeah, I know. If you want to hear the pronunciation, you can go to onet. Deco, o -R -D -N -E -T dot D K and listen, but that will only give you the indefinite form, there. So note that you either have to say at at the end or o, the soft D, meaning the E-T ending, yeah? Ve at or ve al. So you start with ve and you go ve al or ve at. Yes. We don't really say the R either, right? Then there are expressions with this word that don't really mean anything about the weather. Um, 
I don't know if you've noticed what children do when they have to answer something in school, when they are called upon, what do they do, or when they want to be called upon, what do they do? In a lot of countries, they take their hand off, they raise their hand. In Denmark, we don't do that. Of course not, it's Denmark, right? We put up our finger like that. That is, we would say, like fing on i veal. Meaning literally, put up your finger in the weather. It looks like we're pointing to something in the ceiling. We're not. <laughs> but we do put up our finger, not our hand in school normally. We could say that we put up our hand. Like hunting up, put up your hand or raise your hand. But normally it would still be the finger and it's the index finger that we do it with. Yeah. So there's a little cultural clue to you as well. Yeah. So the teacher might say something, blah, blah, like hunting up or like finger on up, or put finger on up, or up my finger on it, up my hand on it, still be like this, yeah. Um, now it's uh, summer and people might be planting things, or maybe also in the springtime, right? They have been planting things in their garden. And when they do that, maybe they would be standing up, bending down in order to plant something. And when you bend down, your bottom goes up. And that is in Danish that we have rumpen i veal, or en i veal. En is actually the ending, right? So that's our ending. In the weather. Yeah. So when we're sort of bending down with our bottoms in the air, we would say that we have it in the weather. Yeah. It could also be with a more swear kind of word, Leon Evel, the S or the Os in the weather. Yeah. So those were just a few examples with this word where there are more. Yeah. You can go to onet.dk and find out more about this word. It's a strange one, I know, but at least now you know how to pronounce it and a little bit about how we use it. I hope that you found this video useful. Please like and subscribe. It will help this channel grow immensely. And if you would like more videos, then hit the notification button. And I would just like to remind you again that if you would like a Danish course with me, then write to tina at danishmatters.dk. And I just got left to say, happy Danish learning.